president's hotel room booked for his upcoming visit to the U.N. He's here to tell us why. That's coming up. And... Um, 97. Stuart Hirsch was having a cup of coffee at a mall in Jerusalem when 10 feet away a terrorist blew himself up. That attack killed five people and severely wounded 200 others, including Hirsch. Mr. Hirsch received a $12 million judgment for his injuries to be given by Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, who planned the attack. But Hirsch has yet to see that money. So his lawyers served the Warwick Hotel in New York with legal papers claiming rights to the Iranian leader's rooms booked for his upcoming visit to the United States. Nations. Joining us now is the man who survived that 1997 attack and is filing the lawsuit, Stuart Hirsch. Mr. Hirsch, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us what you plan to do when Ahmadinejad comes to the Warwick Hotel. There's nothing much I can do from here, but I can tell you that my attorney is prepared to go to court, demand the room or the money. For me, I don't need the room. I need the money. Mm -hmm. and, and Mr. Hirsch, I only want justice. And, and, and you were terribly injured um, in that attack, and, and you have those injuries um, today. How can you get that um, money? And if you get the room, would you come to New York and make a statement to say, yes, I'm here in the room now and I'm getting some measure of justice from this man who caused me this injury and caused other people death. Getting, getting the room is not justice. Getting the money. The court awarded me money. They didn't award me a week's vacation at a luxury hotel. I need the money for rehabilitation. I can't deal with the situation the way it is. Every time we go to court and we don't get the and we don't get my at 15 years. Mm. Ha has anybody in, in the I, American government the tried to... The condition continues. Has anybody in the American government tried to help you with this at all, Mr. Hirsch, in terms of helping you collect I, this money? Yes, the tax, they don't help me collect. What they do is, if I have an expense directly related, like medication or property loss, they will extend the reimbursement. Hmm. But I'm going to have to pay that back. But that's still not justice. No, it's no, not. of course not. We Absolutely should let people not. know that you were badly burned in the explosion. You were hit by shrapnel. You suffered a 60% hearing loss, a speech impediment, back pain. You have difficulty walking. When you were awarded that $12 million judgment, did you really think that Ahmadinejad would pay it? No. He has no respect for, any, for America. When we went to court, he didn't show up. There was no representative. It was like a two-way conversation between me and the judge. Mm. Well, Mr. Hirsch, we wish you well. And he only, the only reason he came eventually was because he realized he could lose. I don't want the American people to pay. I don't want, no, I really want don't want anything to pay, from the and he, American people. And he should absolutely pay because yes. the judgment's been against him. And of course you want uh, justice. Steve.